Hello and welcome to the 77th episode of the Sock Bunny Knit and Fit video podcast. My name is Kimberly, also known as Sock Bunny. I'm going to entitle this week's show, I Belief in Love, and you'll see why coming up. And I also want to say Happy Pi Day, because today is Thursday, March 14th, 314, which are the first few digits of the number pi. So Happy Pi Day, P-I, not P-I-E, although a lot of people evidently eat P-I-E Pi today. <laughs> Um, I am Sock Buddy on Ravelry, Plurk, Instagram, Google+, Twitter, iTunes, YouTube, and Blip.tv. And the blog is at SockBunnyKnitAndFit.blogspot.com. The email address is SockBunnyKnitAndFit at gmail.com. And the Etsy shop is SockBunnyStudios.etsy.com. Um, I just grabbed my phone because I realized that in about 15 minutes my alarm is going to go off because I need to reserve my bike for spin class tonight. So I'm going to turn that off real quick so that you don't have to hear my alarm. Sorry about that. I don't want the alarm to go off during the show. I do set an alarm for that because otherwise I forget. We have to reserve the bike two hours ahead of time or up to two hours ahead of time. So let me turn that off. Okay, there we go. So we won't be disturbed. Um, okay, today's topics are going to be fitness, finished objects, works in progress, knit and crochet alongs, tips and tricks, favorite things, and what I am watching and reading. I first want to say thank you to Kim, who is Fraydell, F-R-A-Y-D-E-L-E, -E, who left a iTunes review for me this week. I really appreciate it. And also thank you for everybody who left star ratings. We are up to 58 star ratings, so thank you. Um, and remember, I can't see any reviews left by people in other countries, but I really do appreciate you leaving them, even though I can't see them, because it does help other people find knitting podcasts that they like. Um, not just mine, other people's podcasts, too. Um, there will not be a shop update this week. My old, my younger daughter, Rachel, is out of town. She is actually in West Virginia this week visiting her grandma, Joe's mom, um, Joe's dad died in December, so Rachel decided to spend her spring break with Grandma, and uh, they are having some great Grandma-Rachel bonding time, and um, she got to see snow and all that kind of stuff. So she's having a really great time. I think she's coming home Saturday afternoon, if I remember right. So uh, it's been nice and quiet around here. I've been taking advantage of that, and I've been clean, cleaning up my craft room. So I did not dye this week, did not dye yarn this week, uh, but there will be a shop update next week. I am planning on um, taking pictures, re-photographing the yarns that haven't sold because maybe the pictures aren't that great. Some of the first pictures that I took were not that great, and some of the yarns I might actually re-skein to see if that helps them sell. So, um... Let's see. Let's get right into fitness. We have a winner this week. Um, starting in February, we started having a fitness poster along. So we have a fitness along, which you can post to every day, but we also have a fitness poster along that we started. And basically for the fitness poster, you post your before picture of the poster during the first seven days of the month, and then your after finished or, or partially completed poster at the end of February, I mean, at the, let me say that again, at the beginning of the month, you post your poster, and at the beginning of the next month, the first seven days, you post your poster with your progress. So we had 10 people, I know that's so crazy and hard to understand, but just go to the Sock Bunny group, and there's a, a thread with the rules, so... We had 10 people do uh, the fitness along, the fitness poster along this month. And the fitness poster along finishers for February are Die Cat, who is Diana, Scarlet Pearls, who is Stacy, Mermaid Bird, who is Courtney, Kathy G, who is Kathy, Whisk Knitter, who is Eileen, L M E C O L L, who is Linda, M I S I M, who is Suzanne. Retro Lemon, who is Jenna, Jess Dodd, who is Jesse, and Libby Ball, who is Libby. And right before I started podcasting, I drew the winner. The winner is number one, who is Die Cat Diana. So Diana, you are going to be given a prize by another viewer, um, Yvonne, who I believe was like, who was, I think, the January fitness winner, I'm pretty sure. She is donating a $5 pattern. So contact me 
Diana and let me know which pattern you would like and I'll let um, I'll have Yvonne send it to you. So thank you Yvonne for donating and thank you to all 10 of you who participated. I'm very proud of you and it's too late to join the March fitness poster along but it's you can start planning for your April poster because the April poster will need to be posted during the first seven days of April. And it just needs to be a fitness poster with concrete goals. You need to have concrete things, goals that you want to reach, and rewards, concrete rewards that you're going to give yourself. Uh, if you have any questions about it, definitely let me know. Our fitness along, we have um, every month, and as any day that you work out at least 30 consecutive minutes or 10,000 steps on a pedometer, you can post one post per day. Uh, of your workout and at the beginning of March I will draw a February no at the beginning of April I will draw the March winner and you will be able to receive either a five dollar giftable pattern from Ravelry or something from my shop or I will dye something in up to three colors for you so I guess that's about it I have been doing um, Weight Watchers online I did lose weight again this week but more importantly I feel really good and I know as I said before that that's partially because I haven't been eating as much sugar I haven't been drinking cokes except I've had a uh, coke on Sundays and this week I drank a whole one because the first three weeks of Lent I had a half a coke because I had these little tiny bottles that are really a half a coke they were um, like eight ounces so I had a whole can on Sunday and oh it was good <laughs> it was good the cravings haven't been as bad this week um, for the coke so hopefully <clears throat> that's something I'm, I'm leaving behind me hopefully uh, let's see what else I want to say about that. Oh, I went to spin class on Monday, um, spin class at the gym, not at the yarn store. And I am planning on going again tonight. <clears throat> like I said, I have to reserve my bike after I finish podcasting. And I hope to go on Saturday morning. Saturday morning is the hardest one because it starts at 830 in the morning. And I have to leave here like shortly after eight. And I am not a morning person. So, <sighs> and really... Um, it's, I really, really want to go. So what I, I'll tell you a little secret. <laughs> the, the weeks that I've been successful in going, I sleep in my workout clothes. Friday night when I go to bed, I put my workout clothes on and I sleep in them. That way I just have to get up, turn off the alarm clock, put on my shoes, brush my teeth, and go to spin class and I don't have to like pick out what I'm gonna wear or even get dressed so there's a little tip <laughs> I sleep in my workout clothes <laughs> only on set on Friday nights though I don't want you to think I'm crazy and do that every night although that would be I mean if you really have trouble getting up and working out that might be a little tip to try so there you go okay so we're done with fitness we're gonna go into finished objects I am super excited because I finished my half pie shawl this is a uh, design that I've had in my head for over a year. I finally got it out of my head and into yarn. And I'm dropping stuff. Oh boy. I am dropping stuff. Sorry about that. Okay, so I finished the bee leaf pie shawl. It is not blocked. So it looks like really crazy but you'll still be able to see sort of how pretty it is because I still think it's pretty of course I am the mom of this shawl and you know moms always think their daughters are pretty <laughs> so this is let me show you the correct side this is the bee leaf pie shawl and like I said it's not blocked but you can see at the top we've got a little section of beading and then we have a section of leafiness and then another section of beads which are my symbol my way of symbolizing a bee and then we have honeycombs at the bottom so this is the bee leaf b-e-e-l-e-a-f bee leaf pie shawl and it's pretty long you can see it stretches even without being blocked it's already as long as my wingspan is or just a tiny bit shorter maybe two inches shorter than my wingspan um, it's not this orange in real life either this yarn is uh, a little bit more yellow. It's sort of like a sunflower yellow. Um, so I had said that I was going to have an exciting way of releasing the pattern. So this is what I'm going to do. 
And again, there will be a thread to explain all this because it's sort of hard to explain. All right, here's how it's going to go. On Sunday, this coming Sunday, which is St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, I am going to open a thread. And you will be able to go into that thread and say, I want the bee leaf pie shawl. And anybody who goes to that thread and says, I want the shawl pattern, I will gift it to you. I will start gifting them on the day after Easter, which is April 1st. So just go in, say, I want the shawl. You do not have to be a member of my Ravelry group to get a free copy of this pattern. All you have to do is say, I want it, and I will give it to you. You do have to post to the group. You cannot send me a personal message or anything like that. You have to post to the group, I want a copy of the shawl pattern. And I will send it to you starting April 1st. Now, of course, be patient because if a bunch of people want it, it's going to take me time to get to you. So just be patient, okay? But that's not the only thing. The fun part is in the thread, when you say, I want a copy of the pie shawl, you can tell me two people that you want to gift it to. And they do not have to be in the group. They could be anybody on Ravelry that you want to give it to. All I ask is that you say why you want to give it to these people. And this is just a way of spreading positivity on the internet because we all know there's a lot of negativity in the internet world and even in the knitting world. I know it's hard to believe, but I want to spread some positivity. So you just have to go in and say, I want it. And these are the two people I want to give it to and why. But here is your incentive because, of course, I want to get as many people in the podcast group as I can, right? So if you are a member, of the group and you post that you want it, blah, 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 then um, when all of this is said and done, I'm going to run this through April 15th. After the 15th, I'm going to close the thread and I will draw a winner. I'm going to draw a winner from everybody. But if you're not in the group, you're not going to be able to win a free skein of my hand dyed lace weight. So you can get the shawl pattern. You do not have to be a member of the group. The people that you nominate for the shawl pattern. We'll get it, but they don't have to be a member of the group. But if you want to be eligible to win some awesome hand dyed lace weight yarn, then you do need to be a member of the group. It's totally up to you. You do not have to join the group, but I would like for you to. <laughs> a little bit of bribery goes a long way. So that, like I said, Sunday I will open the thread. And the reason I'm waiting until Sunday is because one, I need to block it and get a picture. And two, Rachel's out of town and I'll take a picture of her wearing it on Sunday and that will go in the thread so people can see. And you can tell people about it. Feel free to say, hey, go to this thread and just say you want it. And you can also give it to two people as a gift. So um, there you go. And I'll be promoting this on my Facebook page, on Instagram, on Plurk. Um, I think those are the places that I mainly Google plus I'll post about it. Um, so feel free to tell all your friends if they want a copy of this, all they have to do is go in, um, and ask for it and tell me two other people that they want to have it. Um, and like I said, this is just a way of spreading, uh, spreading positivity and being nice to people and telling them why you appreciate them because the person will get ear burned. Um, you know, like say, uh, let's say I wanted to give it to, let me pick a person, Lisa. Um, her username is L-L-E-A-V-I-D. And she is always so nice um, to me on Plurk and always says really nice things to me and is always really super excited that I'm podcasting and stuff like that. So if I was going to nominate somebody, I would say, hi, I'm Kimberly. I would really love to have this pattern. And I would also like to give it to Lisa because she's always so sweet to me. And then I would name another person that I want to give it to. Let's say Heather. I would like to give it to my friend Heather because she is always sweet and lets me come to visit her and we have a great time knitting together. And that would be it. So I would get it and then Lisa would get it and also Heather would get it. There you go. Um, because when you post in their, their name, they'll be ear burned and they'll be able to get, uh, they'll get a notification that you're nominating them and they can see why you're nominating them and um, why you appreciate them. So that's how it goes. So the dates are Sunday, March 17th. The, the post will go live uh, starting April 1st. I'll start sending out the patterns and 
the 15th, April 15th tax day is the tax day in the U.S. is the last day that you can do that. And I also want to say a big thank you to my test knitter, who is Sarah Apple Blossom SF. She is the fastest knitter that I know, and she is making great progress. I'm going to be sending um, the last few rows of the pattern to her hopefully tonight, uh, maybe tomorrow, <laughs> depending, depending on how tired I am after spin class. And I think that's all I want to say on that. So here it is again. It will look even better next week when you see it blocked. And like I said, I'm super excited about it. This is my baby. And I told my husband, I said, the next thing I design is going to be like a pair of socks or something small. <laughs> oh, and I wanted to say, that I know that a lot of times when you're working on a project like this, I know for me, it seems like it takes forever to finish it because the rows get longer and longer. On this particular pattern, the last rows are 600 and I think 646 stitches. 646 stitches in one row. Now that's just crazy. And it's very discouraging because you're like, oh, I knit all that time and I have this minuscule amount of knitting to show for it. But if you think about it, this is how I like to think about it to keep myself motivated. My average pair of socks has 64 stitches per row. So if I have 640 some odd stitches in one row of a shawl, knitting one row of this shawl was like knitting 10 rows on a sock. So I really am making progress, it's just harder to see. So if I knit 10 rows on a sock, I'd be like, yeah, look, I knit like an inch, that's awesome. So it's just harder to see your progress. So, you know, maybe put it in a different frame of mind of how much progress you've made. And also you can put a stitch marker, like either at the beginning of the week or the beginning of the day, when you start working on something to see, yes, I really am making progress on this. So just a little tip to help keep you motivated because I know sometimes like on a sweater or a large shawl or a blanket or something it's just at the end you just get really discouraged because you feel like you're just not making any kind of progress. So that's the bee leaf pie shawl and that, that's the reason the uh, um, podcast is called I Believe in Love because that way we can tell people that we love them by t giving them a copy of the pattern. Okay, my other work in progress, the only other thing I worked on, and where did I put it? I sort of just threw stuff in here. Here it is. <laughs> um, is a sock that I started a while back, and I got a little tiny bit of progress on it. This uh, colorway is one that I dyed in fluorescent dyes that will glow in black light. I just got a little bit done. I started the heel flap. This is my uh, colorway called 80s Fashion 2, and like I said, it will glow under a black light. Nothing exciting. That's my uh, miracle base, my really twisty base. So that's all. This week I will feel like I have gotten my life back. <laughs> I did finish the items for my um, Easter swap package, and that's going to go out probably tomorrow, maybe Saturday. Uh just depending on when I get it all packaged up, but it's, it's packaged up and ready to go. And that needs to be to my partner by Easter. And I did receive my package this week, which I will show you, uh, coming up. Okay. So let's move on. That was finished objects and works in progress. Um, let's see. Oh, we have a sci-fi knit along that was scheduled to end tomorrow on the 15th. But since I'm not going to be podcasting next week until probably Wednesday, I decided to go ahead and extend it until I podcast again. So right before I podcast next week, I will close it. So try to get your stuff done as early as possible. Um, it could be anything sci-fi or, uh, fantasy or those types of things. So a lot of people are doing like Dr. Who dishcloths and different stuff like that. And the prizes are going to be two sets of stitch markers that were donated by Courtney, who is Mermaid Bird on Ravelry and Silly Goose Knits on Plurk. And if you're wondering why I'm looking over here, my show notes are over here. So don't think I've got like some weird spasm in my eye or something like that. Or like I'm really daydreaming. Of, oh, I'd rather be knitting right now. No, that's not it. Um... Let's see. Oh, so anyway, I'm giving away the two sets of stitch markers and also I will be giving away a, a pattern. So you have, like I said, until I podcast next week to get those items in. And then starting tomorrow, wait, no, Saturday, Saturday, March 16th, 
um, running till the end of May. You can knit any knit, crochet, or weave anything with hand spun yarn. It could be yarn that you spun or yarn that somebody else spun. Any kind of project will do. Just post them in the thread and have fun with it. That's the important thing. And um, I haven't decided on what I'm going to donate, but I do have a prize that was donated. I showed it last week. This is by um, Amy, who is, uh, her shop is useful, E-W-E-S-F-U-L things dot com, dot Etsy dot com. And this is a knitting project bag that I'm leaving um, <coughs> rolled up. But trust me, it's awesome and you want it. So that will be one of the prizes for the uh, fantasy sci-fi. No, that's for the spin along. That is for the knit with hand spun. I think I need to have some sugar um, or at least some carbs and protein, right? That's the healthier choice. Have some carbs and protein, not sugar. There we go. I'm learning. Uh, and then in July, August, June, July, August, we're going to have what I was originally going to call Sock It To Me Summer, but I think I might call it Sock Stravaganza instead, but I've got some really fun things planned for that knit along. So we're going to be doing socks in June, July, and August. And okay, now we're going to get into stash enhancement. The first item for stash enhancement is something that was a total surprise. I went to go see Heather, who is Heather WB. She lives a couple of hours north of me here in Florida. I went to see her Saturday. And right before I left, her husband got home from work and they gave me something that you will not be surprised that I screamed when I saw it. Uh, I love flamingos. If you're a new viewer, I love flamingos. And they gave me. Let me go kitchen shears. Oh my gosh. Is this perfect for me or what? <laughs> I love them so much. Look how cute they are. They got them at, at a bed, bath, and beyond. Naturally, I went, eh, when I saw it. So thank you, Heather. I love them so much. It's been very hard not to use them. I had to wait until I podcasted, so... I love. And then my next dash enhancement is going to be one of my fitness prizes that I'm going to give to myself because I reward myself every 40 miles. And this is a bag that I got on Etsy from Sam, who is Knit Run Dig. She has a Knit Run Dig podcast, but she also has a Knit Run Dig um, Etsy shop now. And so I bought an alien knit bag. I know you're surprised aliens, right? With all the sci-fi stuff that I've been watching lately, this is like so perfect. I love the blue polka dotted fabric that goes with it. She also sent me a pencil for my pencil collection because I collect pencils. And it says London 2012. So this one's super special. And she also sent me some little stitch markers. But last but not least, she sent me Doctor Who stickers because she knows I'm obsessed with Doctor Who. If you've never watched Doctor Who, this is, whoops, this is the TARDIS. That's his, uh time machine, space travel, timey, wimey, wibbly, wobbly time machine that he travels in. And then this is a Dalek, his mortal enemy. And then up here, we have a weeping angel, which is one of the scariest aliens you will ever encounter. They are angels that look like statues, but they're really monsters, and they can only move when you are not looking at them. So as long as you look at them, they can't move, and they can't get you. But if you blink... They can move and they can get you and they are scary as snot. So if you've never watched any Doctor Who and you want to watch an episode that stands by itself and is scary as heck, watch the Weeping Angels episode. And if you're not sure which, I think it might be in season four. It could be season three, but I think it might be season four. Um, if you're not sure which episode it is, send me a private message and I'll tell you. And oh my gosh, it is scary. Awesome scary. I love the Weeping Angels. They scare me so bad. <sighs> okay <laughs> enough raving about that so thank you Sam for the awesome bag I can't wait to earn that with my fitness miles uh, let's see oh I got some when I stopped um, I stopped at Hobby Lobby on the way home from visiting Heather because she lives up near Ocala Gainesville area and they have a Hobby Lobby but down here in Tampa we don't have one that I know of and I think they might have been building one like way way north Tampa but it's not anywhere close enough to me where it would be convenient. So what I got is two balls of I love this cotton because I heard that this cotton is really soft 
And what I want to use it for is to make um, face towels for when I work out. Because like when I take spin class, I sweat a lot. And so uh, it's nice to have a towel. And so I thought it would be really cute if I could knit or crochet. I'll probably crochet uh, some little hand towels to use. Um, I heard that this is softer than, and it already, it feels softer in the ball. Um, but we'll have to see how it um, stands up to washing. But like if you use peaches and cream or sugar and cream, that gets sort of rough, especially after it's been washed. So this, that's what this is planned for. Then I got, uh, I got it, my Easter swap package and I've already sort of destroyed it. <laughs> I took everything out of the, uh, she had it in this really adorable basket and I sort of took everything out and like dug through it like a wild animal. So let me show you what she said. Even the inside of the box is adorable. So my partner that sent to me was Amy, who is This Mom Knits on Plurk or This Mom Knits 2 on Ravelry. So she knit me an adorable dishcloth with a John John bunny. Looks like John John, right? It says Happy Easter. And I love it so much. It really looks like John John, don't you think? If you're a new viewer, John John is my bunny. He was in my um, Ravatar and I've had him since I was little. So that is my knitted item. And then she also sent me some chocolate, which I will eat on Easter because I don't know if you know this, but anything you eat on Easter has no calories or carbs. Yeah, Easter's a free carb day. <laughs> it is in my book anyway. And then also she sent some peppermint tea, which I love, and some lifesavers which I will have to hide from my husband because that's one of his favorite candies. And she also sent me some adorable stitch markers. And let's see if I can get them to focus. They have little teapots on them. Let me take one out. Teapots. There, there are four of them and they're really adorable because, let me hold it in front of this and see if it'll focus. They have teapots on them, but they also have like a little jewel at the top. And you can see there are four of them, pink, yellow, green, and purple. They're not focusing. Probably because it could still see me through the mesh. Let's try this. I don't know if you can hear, but Bandit is crying for me. I'll be out in a little bit, Bandit. <clears throat> okay, so I think that's everything that she sent. So thank you, Amy, very, very much. I really appreciate it. I love the dishcloth with the bunny, of course. And then I got an extra special surprise that I totally was not expecting. And this is from... Um, Kelly, who is WV Crafty, and she sent me an unexpected surprise. Oops, you just saw it. Unexpected surprise gift. First, she also sent me a chocolate cross. So this is destiny that I'm supposed to eat chocolate on Easter. So this is a sign from God <laughs> that I am supposed to eat chocolate on Easter. So um, thank you very much for that. But she sent me, well, she sent me the leftover yarn, and it's pink. It's not as red as you're seeing there pink. But she sent me look how cute it is. Oh my gosh. She knit me a flamingo. <laughs> I told you I was flamingo obsessed. It is adorable. And I think there's some sort of like bouncing ball or tennis ball inside. And my husband was like, throw it down and see if it bounces. And I'm like, no, I am not throwing down this flamingo. I love it so much, Kelly. Oh my gosh, thank you. You have no idea how much I love this thing. I am going to have to put a little shelf up here, like on one side or the other, just so the flamingo can be on every podcast. Somewhere over here. He's going to have to get his little shelf. And it is a he. I decided last night, because I got him actually last night. And yesterday, this is going right into favorite things, but yesterday we got a new Pope. If you don't follow the news or whatever, um, Pope Benedict had retired, and so they elected a new Pope, and yesterday it was announced who the new Pope is, and his name is Pope Francis. He's the first Francis, and um, he's a Jesuit, and he's 76. He's from Buenos Aires. Uh, what else do I know about him? That's pretty much it. I don't really know much else about him, but his name is Francis. So I decided that this is Francis Flamingo since I got it on the very same day that we got a new Pope. Yay, Francis Flamingo. Hello, everybody. I'm Francis Flamingo. Quack. <laughs> That's the devil Flamingo shot. Woo. Hello. 
I love it so much. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> I think John John might be a little bit jealous. <laughs> my new favorite. Sorry, John John. <laughs> okay, so anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Okay, um, I think that's it for stash enhancement. Yes, okay. Uh, tips and tricks. There is a thread in the Sock Bunny group if you would like to contribute a tip or trick. And I really appreciate the people that have posted them. This week I am sharing one from Crafty Princess, who is Tammy from Florida. Yay, Florida! Uh, Tammy says, for anyone who travels or has friends or family who travels and likes to bring back souvenirs for you, ask for a bag. Many times these make great and inexpensive project bags. For example, my mother loves to go on cruises and I went with her on one. There are bags all over the place where, oh, when you are out doing tourist stuff. So true. Tourist bags do make awesome, awesome, awesome knit bags. Um, another thing is shopping bags. If you want to follow along that same line of thinking, um, a lot of stores like um, your craft stores or your grocery stores or even Walmart will have um, bags that are very durable and they make really good project bags. And I brought one in. This one was gifted to me with a Christmas swap a few years ago, but this one's from Pier One and it's a shopping bag, but I use it as a project bag all the time. The reason I use it is, um, well, I love the colors, duh, but I also love the fact that a knitting book will fit in here. So it's really good if you're working on socks that you're knitting out of a book. Um, and this is from Pier One. So think outside the box when it comes to the bag. Uh, let's see. Favorite things. As I mentioned, we have a new poem. That's all I got to say. Uh, let's see. I'd say that a lot. Uh, let's see. Okay, what am I watching and reading? Star Trek The Next Generation. Last week I said I was on Season 5, but I looked like I wasn't sure about that. That's because I really wasn't on season five. I was on season six and I was about halfway done. So I finished season six last night and there was a cliffhanger at the end. And I even said out loud, wow, I didn't see that coming. And it was really good. And so I started season seven last night. I watched the first episode. There are 25 episodes, 25 or 26 episodes in every season. So that's why it's taken me forever to get through them. And... So uh, I've been having a lot of Star Trek dreams because I've been watching Star Trek almost every single day and especially at night before I go to bed. And I'm very impressionable when it comes to dreams, which is why I cannot read or watch anything that has too much violence or uh, murders or blood or stalkers or any of that kind of stuff because it really um, makes me have bad dreams. Aliens, not so, I don't really have bad dreams about them. Um, that's a good kind of scary, but anything that, you know, is blood and gore, I can't really watch because I, like I said, I'm very impressionable when it comes to dreams. Bandit's still crying for me. <laughs> I'm coming, Bandit! Um, so I guess that's it. I am done. Bandit says it's about time. So I hope you have a great week. And don't forget to post your workouts in the workout thread. And I noticed that we had 50 people participating this month in the workout thread. So keep posting your workouts. Even if you've won in the past, you can win again. So that I'm going to say goodbye. I hope you have a great week. Keep on crafting. Bye.